What's up, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and we're here with week 10 of the ILL, week 10 of the Indigo League of Legends, the final week. So if we get a victory here, then we're going to hopefully be in the playoffs. But this is not going to be an easy challenge, mainly because we're facing off against Necro, Stevo, one of my awesome rivals. And um, of course, he's the coach of the uh, the Venus Venusaurus. So his team is looking mighty powerful. He has access to Mega, Deonce, Tornado, Syrian Form, Bigo, Drapion, Lachios, and Zapdos. So, for my end, we have a defensive Registeel, Barnegator X, the Charizard X. That's my mega Pokemon. And then Samurai, Samurai there, uh, not Hydro Cannon shenanigans. Then we have Sableye, uh, Glaceon, and Smashtoria, the uh, Primeape. So, let's begin. I hope you all enjoy. He's going to start with his Diancie. He's going to Mega Evolve on the first turn and protect. I know that his ability, Magic Bounce, will bounce back the Thunder Wave. And uh, so I just go straight for an Iron Head. Because it's super effective, why not go for that? Now, I, I, I do go for Thunder Wave the next turn, mainly because I figured he was going to switch out expecting an Iron Head, but he goes for the switch and the Zapdos, which was a great play. And then I go into Sableye, expecting a Thunderbolt, but he goes for a Volt Switch, goes back into Mega Diancie. That was a nice full circle there. Unfortunately, he gets a critical hit off the Earth Power. Earth Power would have hit the majority of my team. Uh, he could have just gone with a Moon Blast and finished me off, but at the same time, I could always switch out and all that. I, I was tempted to go into Charizard, which I end up doing here, but I picked the wrong time to do it as he predicts that and goes for a Calm Mind. That's not good. If he has Diamond Storm, that would have been extremely bad there, but he switches out, which means he does not have Diamond Storm. So he switches out, goes back into Zapdos, um, I don't know, because I, I go for Earthquake, yes, but at the same time, it's like, well, he can't hit me very hard. Hidden Power Ice will not be super effective because I'm part fire. Uh, so that, that I take as a great opportunity to try to set up. Now, as I try setting up for a third time, I double check on Necrocevo's team. And I noticed that he has a Ditto. So I switch out because it's like he could always go into Ditto and copy my uh, boost from the Dragon Dance. And then he can just outspeed me with his Choice Scarf and all that. So I switch out going to Crystallatia. And that was one of the, you know, phew moments there. Because if he, if he went into that... Below, he could probably sweep my entire team. So with Crystalatia here, that's my Glaceon, we're going to have some fun. I set up with a substitute, go with an Ice Beam, and we freeze Cali here, the Drapion, which is amazing. Because, uh, like, Drapion is really bulky on the physical side. He, he's so bulky. In general, so getting him out of the way is going to make things a lot easier. Unfortunately, his Zapdos will outspeed and break my substitute. And I know he's going to probably take an Ice Beam. But I get a critical hit. So there we go. We got two Pokemon KO'd. All because of Glaceon. But uh, this... Mega Diancy will outspeed and just finish me off with a Moon Blast, which kind of sucks because of Crystalatia's special defense. It's very, very good. Now here, I go into Smash Toria. For some reason, I thought Ice Punch would be super effective because, like, it's part rock, I think, right? 
but apparently it's not super effective. And again, he goes for Earth Power because it's like, I can just kill you with a Moon Blast. Why are you going into a Smash Toria like that? So I'm like, okay, let's just go into Charizard. He switches out as well and goes into his Scarfed Ditto and uh, transforms it to his, or to my own Charizard X. So it's not fair. It's not really fair having two Mega Pokemon. He has my Mega Charizard and then Mega Deansi. So we're going to get out and we're going to get taken out by an earthquake. But that's fine. I go into my PC 100 and that is, of course, my Samurai. I go with a Surf because that's my safe play option there. So and we hit Lady Yaz. The Lachios. It's not very effective. I do have Ice Beam, but I don't want to take a Draco Meteor. So expecting a Draco Meteor, we're going to go into my Registeel to dodge it, and then he goes for another Draco Meteor. I think he's just trying to get some damage onto my Registeel. That way he can just go back into Mega DLC and finish me off with a Earth Power or something. Uh, but little does he know, uh, this Registeel is so bulky on the special and physical side. So we paralyze Lady Oz, which is great. Now we can try doing the parafusion combo where you paralyze the opponent and they go for Iron Head, iron head uh, flinches. But he switches out, goes into Tornadus Therian form. Goes for U-turn. He could have gone with a heat wave there if he had it, or a superpower, but I thought that was too predictable and I stayed in. He predicts the thunder wave pretty nicely, and that ability, magic bounce, bounces back that thunder wave. That's a little unfortunate, but Registeel is slow in general, so I can't complain, right? Now we're going to get our third KO in the match. We KO Mega Deansi in exchange for getting paralyzed and taking an Earth power like a boss. Very nice. Now, unfortunately, he still has his Tornadus. And for some reason, like, he went for Hurricane. Uh, I think he was trying to get me confused. And then I had the chance of getting paralyzed. That's, I, I can't complain about that. That's a, that's an okay strategy. I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Now, unfortunately, this is the part of the match where I kind of wish I didn't get this. I go with an ice punch trying to hit the Tornadus. I get a critical hit ice punch off the Diggo, and he copies my ability Anger Point, which means... He has a plus six attack boost and his choice scarf, which means we're going to get demolished by Ditto. All because I got a stupid critical hit when I didn't need it. Gosh darn it. So we lose this battle uh, six to three or three zero if you want to go it by that version. Man, that, that's, that's heartbreaking. But, you know, that's part of the game. So we're not in the playoffs this year, or this season, rather. Uh, and that means we're going to look forward to Season 5. So that was a great season. The San Francisco Swampers did a great job this season. And I'm looking forward to making more progress in the next season. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video. Subscribe for more Wi-Fi battles. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter as I am doing this thing called uh, Periscope. And what Periscope is, it's actually a live stream where you get to go live. And uh, I, I do uh, mainly Wi-Fi battles live and battle spots. So... If you hop on over to my Twitter, I will be saying, hey, I will be on Periscope in a few minutes. I will be doing this live, and you guys can come in and watch until the event is over. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, go check out my Twitter page.
at China Corner. All right, have a great day, China. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.